Tuberculosis is a dangerous airborne infectious disease that commonly affects the lungs. The microorganisms that cause tuberculosis are classified as mycobacteria. The pathogen is a rod-shaped bacterium that is famously known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. A small proportion of TB infections can also be caused by Mycobacterium bovis. The global staggering impact of the disease is well documented. It is believed that the domestication of cattle initiated the transmission of the pathogen from animals to human. The research indicates that the disease existed in the Egyptian population some 3,000 to 5,000 years ago. Forensic analysis of the tissues taken from some Egyptian mummies revealed signs of tuberculosis. Millions of people around the globe are infected with TB. However, only 5% of infected people develop active tuberculosis. The term latent TB is used for the cases where the infection remains dormant. The disease is second to AIDS in causing high mortality rates from a single infection in the modern era. Tuberculosis spreads by airborne transmission, which is sometimes known as droplet infection. Airborne transmission refers to the mechanism when droplet nuclei, which means small pathogens containing particles of respiratory secretions, are expelled into the air by coughing. Droplet nuclei can remain suspended in the air for a long period. The pathogens are capable of surviving for long periods outside the body and are resistant to drying. Airborne transmission allows organisms to enter the upper and lower respiratory tracts. Fortunately, only a limited number of diseases are capable of airborne transmission. Many such diseases can cause serious damage to human health. Pathogenesis, although primarily a pulmonary pathogen, Mycobacterium tuberculosis can cause illness in almost any part of the body. Only pulmonary tuberculosis is contagious. The pathogen is an aerobic acid-fast bacillus. Aerobic organisms can only survive in the presence of oxygen, so the lungs provide an ideal environment for Mycobacterium tuberculosis to grow. The wall of the bacterium contains high level of lipids. The lipid-rich wall is responsible for its ability to survive in dry conditions outside the host for many weeks, and also its ability to do serious damage. Initially, droplet nuclei, which are full of bacteria, are inhaled into the lungs. The organism is then taken up by alveolar macrophages. However, several defensive mechanisms of Mycobacterium tuberculosis can stop macrophages from killing them, and hence they can multiply within the macrophages. The presence of bacteria within the macrophages can initiate an inflammatory response. As a result, many other white blood cells are recruited to the area of infection, which surround the infected macrophages forming a cluster of cells known as granuloma. The macrophages in the center of such clusters are then killed and transformed to epithelioid histiocytes. The lipids in the bacteria create a cheese-like material in the center of the granulomas, which is the typical characteristic of the disease. Granulomas can often become calcified and become visible on chest x-rays. However, the bacteria within these granulomas can survive and may remain dormant for years. The person is said to have latent TB. In people with weak immune systems, the bacteria can escape the granulomas and become reactivated even after decades. Active TB can cause severe destruction of the lung parenchyma and initiates a cascade of immune response which results in lung scarring, fibrosis, bronchiectasis, consolidations, weight loss, and all the associated symptoms.